So the next one I wanted to show you was uh, the cotangent one, because the cotangent is very similar to the uh, tangent one, except that it goes upside down. And if you remember, the phase shift pointed to something else. And that's actually what I was thinking of a second ago when I messed up in graphing this. So this is the same equation except for it's, t it's a tangent one, so I still know that the period will be pi over 4. And so every quarter of a period is going to be um, pi over 16, so all of my tick marks will be pi over 16 units away. And so again, it's going to be 1 and 3 and to negative 1 and pi over 4. But see, here's the difference. So we still have 5 pi over 16, and we still have 3 pi over 8. But remember how pi over 4 here represented our center point? Well, with the cotangent, pi over 4 actually represents the asymptote. So it's pi 3 pi over 8 that's going to represent the center point, because that's half of a period away. So that's the big difference, is the pi over 4 here is referring to the asymptote, whereas the pi over 4 here is referring to the center of that cycle. And so the next point then would be uh, 7 pi over 16, and then the last point would be uh, 8 pi over 16, which is pi over 2. And so that's where my asymptote is going to go. And then the co other difference is the cotangent is actually decreasing, at least the positive cotangent. And so my graph is going to look something like that, and something like that, probably a little bit better. Um, so then we can figure out the domain. And the range, the domain, the range is easy, it's all real numbers. And then the domain would be x can't equal pi over 4 plus from pi over 4 to pi over 2 is pi over 4. So the asymptotes are repeating every pi over 4 units. So that's a cotangent. Um, the other thing you, you need to be careful, you also need to be able to do is to come up with the equations um, for sine and cosine and secant and cosecant and tangent and cotangent. So um, maybe I will do those. No, I guess we can, we can try one. Um, so let's say I gave you a graph that looks something like this. And I told you that this point here was pi over 4, comma 8. And I told you that the middle point here was um, pi over 2, comma 6. Could we come up with a lot of different um, functions, equations of the function? So we know that this is 8, we know that this, this is 6, so that means that the bottom here has to be, right, because this is 6 is supposed to be in between the max and the min, so if the max is 8, then the min must be 4. And then this represents a quarter of a period, so that's a whole pi over 4. So that means that, you know, the next big points, it's going to be another pi over 4, another pi over 4, and another pi over 4, so a whole period is going to be pi over 4 times 4, which is pi. And if the period is 2 pi over b, then pi is going to be 2 pi over b, so that b would end up being 2. And then you can come up with an a, the amplitude is 2, because the height of the graph is 4, so half of the height is 2. And then d is the middle points, which would be 6. So then from there, it's, a little bit, it's just the hard part is coming up with uh, correct shift start with the cosine, I guess. Um, so 2x minus something plus 6, and we can do a negative cosine. And we can do a positive sine. And we can do a negative sine. And so um, for this one, right, so we have... Um, Remember the cosine starts at the very top, so it would be pi over 4. That's the very, that's the maximum. And then this actually is referring to the negative sign, right? Because it is in the middle, but it's decreasing. That's pi over 2. And then we can guess then that if this is pi over 2, then this should be 3 pi over 4. Because we would add another quarter of a pi. And that would take us to the negative cosine. So the negative cosine is 3 pi over 4. And then this one here is another 3 pi over 4 over, so that would be pi. And that would be the regular sign. And so those would be four possible functions. Um, and I'll stop here, and we'll have to do the, um, the tangent and the secant and the cosecant, um, I guess, tomorrow.